All right, boys and girls. Didn't get done last night. We got up this morning and be down here working. And I think we got it all back together. Yep, got some brand new shifter on here. and We haven't test drove it yet. It, uh, that's the only thing left to do. It is going to be a sticky, sticky, sticky day. But at least, neutral first, second, third, fourth, and reversed. At least we can run through our gears now. It's not popping out. So hopefully we're, we're back on the right track. Hopefully we're fixed. Now we'll have to take her for a little ride and see what we got. But, oh my God, I can just feel, feel the heat coming today. It's gonna be a good warm one. I'm sure everything's gonna like that. But. Well, and our poor plants, man. We haven't been out here to do dick lately. Oh my goodness, these poor things. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're, they're not really all laying on the ground because I mean, look at this. This pole said, man, I can't take no more. This is my fancy, my fancy fixing with bobber here with this, this coat hanger. I swear coat hangers fix everything, but man, I can tell right here in this pole. It just, it just wants to bend. I mean, it's heavy. We got, I mean, these three things here are, God, almighty, these got to be at least five pounds a piece. And this big thing here, I don't even know what in the world this other thing is. Come around this side. Look at this dude. Oh, you can't really tell the size of it. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what the hell this thing is. I don't know if this is a some kind of gourd buddy I, I have no clue i'll have to go back through all my seeds and check it out what uh what i planted this is uh i mean i know what these dinosaur gourds are i mean they're pretty obvious and little ones and I, i'm getting an awful lot of these like little little tater bug things these little yellow guys i don't know if you can see them but Here's some chewing on one that's petering out. They're just, they'd like it, they'd like it a little rotted first, I guess. I don't know. Anything starts to rot, them little tater bug thingies eat it. Still got a lot of dead in here. Uh, you can see the vines are starting to, a lot of them starting to dry out. A lot of them I'm leaving because it's kind of helping support everything else. Well, we still, we got, those little things are dying off. We're going to cut all these out of here. And, and then you see little things like this. Or, the vines are gone. And ain't much left of those that's even doing nothing. Check on our, check on our big white pumpkin in the bush. Must have been the only one that's done any good. These are little new ones that popped out and dying off. And some things just ate the whole pumpkin and left the head stems on them. So. Still got another one back here that's trying to do something. He's putting up the good fight though. I mean, he's not going out easy. These little things here, a lot of them, the vines are starting to die and pucker up. But I'll tell you what now, my big green, uh, this great big green vine here is the uh, pumpkin vine. No watermelons this year, guys. I, I planted a bunch of watermelons and every year, not, no watermelons. I could, the vines just probably get a foot long and die, so. But our gourds, man. Our gourds are growing like crazy. As you can see, these are they ain't touching the ground, but by God, they're half a hand's width from it. Uh, trying to keep the bugs from still pecking away at these little things. But 
you can see our big pumpkin here. Yep. She's she's scarred up, but she's still uh she's still fucking pumpkin. We're gonna get some seeds out of her. We still got more of these and they're just they're hanging out when there's probably about an inch from the ground. Uh, didn't, do, didn't do too good on our little birdhouse gourds this year. And didn't get many at all. Just maybe a couple small ones. Nothing big like we had last year, but I think these uh, these other big gourds made up for it. I'm hoping I can get a couple of these that ain't scarred up too bad from the bugs. Little cater bug thingies, man. They love this shit. But we got some things that we just need to cut off here, the dead, and uh, some of these vines are dying off, some of these ain't, they're, they're done what they're doing, especially stuff like this right here, I mean this vine's dead, and it's just basically dangling this little dude from it, same thing over here, this little dude here, it's, uh, it's the vine's dead, it's just dangling from it. Mmm, my fucking pickle, a big pickle finally, the vine finally kind of went, so I call that a big nuclear fucking pickle, yep, so that'll be in for seeds, you can see I got me another one down here festering, you can get the seeds, once it all dries out we'll get all them seeds off there and get it all picked up so and here if I'm not mistaken is my only little what they call a dipper gourd it's real long smooth straight with the ball at the end and that is the only one I see unless we miracle something up here or something somehow he trying to take along the Along the house, without all those little bitty things to have time to do what they're going to want to do, or, or what, it, what it might be. So, and this stuff that was going up on the house, uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, I think the wind might have just blowed them all back, and, and all this stuff fell that time. You know, a little bit back there, and got a few things dingle dangling and hanging, and bugs really eat that up back up in there so we'll see we got at least i had most of it up off the ground i got the mow and yeah still a little bit of yard work to do but man i'll tell you what let's just hope the jeep's fixed i'm gonna give her a test drive maybe take a boy out and get him something for his birthday today his birthday ain't until tuesday but i ain't gonna see him so might as well get him something to enjoy this weekend and that will be all.